Hello everyone, welcome back to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss a question based on recoil velocity, which is based on law of conservation of momentum. This question is from textbook example 9.6. A bullet of mass 20 gram is horizontally fired with a velocity 150 meter per second from a pistol of mass 2 kg. What is the recoil velocity of the pistol? First, let us try to understand what is recoil velocity and how to solve this kind of question. Today, I will teach you the easiest way to solve this kind of question that is based on the recoil velocity. Now, what is recoil velocity? See, initially you are holding a rifle or a gun in your hand. Now, when you fire it, so initially both are at the rest, that gun and the bullet. So here the both the initial velocities are zero. Now when you fire it, so the bullet will move with a very high speed. So when the bullet move, it pushes the gun in the backward direction. So that is the gun moves backward. So that is called the recoil velocity of the gun. So here the final velocity of the bullet when it is fired, it acquires velocity of 150 meter per second. Now what is the recoil velocity? of the gun or a bullet or a rifle or a pistol that we have to find. See in one of the question it is also given that the initial velocities are given means when you fire the bullet right so it, it is the initial velocity then what is the recoil velocity of the gun in that case the final velocity of both the gun and the bullet you have to consider zero that is either you have to consider the initial velocity as zero or final velocity as zero because before firing the bullet and gun or a rifle both are at the rest now after you fire both acquire velocity hence their final velocity now suppose you are considering these two velocities means when you fire it that velocity of the bullet is the initial velocity then the recoil velocity of the gun or a rifle is also we have to consider as a initial velocity then after some time the bullet will stop and again the gun come to rest so again the final velocities are zero so it depend upon the demand of the question in this question it is given that initially both are at the rest and when you fire the bullet acquire velocity of 150 meter per second what is the recoil velocity of the rifle or a pistol right so very simple either you have to consider first object as a bullet or a rifle or a pistol so i have considered here bullet as my object one so its mass is m1 its initial velocity is u1 and its final velocity is v1 and i have considered this pistol or a rifle or a gun as my final object second object so it is m2 its mass is m2 it's <clears throat> i have considered pistol rifle and gun as my second object so its mass is m2 its initial velocity is u2 and its final velocity is v2 now in the question it is given that the bullet has a mass of 20 gram see first we need to convert all these things into si unit right so here the mass given 20 gram so si unit of mass is kg so to convert it into kilogram we need to divide it by thousand so mass is 20 by thousand kilogram initial velocity is u1 that is 0 meter per second and final velocity is 150 meter per second mass of the pistol in the given question is u2 is 0 meter per second and velocity that we have to find and this question is based on conservation of momentum now what is the equation of the conservation of momentum that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 see this is the final momentum of the system right v1 and v2 are the final velocities is equals to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 and this is the initial momentum of the system so according to law of conservation of momentum in an isolated system the initial and the final momentum of the system is conserved right means there is no change so what is the data given what is m1 it is 20 by 
1000 into V1 is 150 plus V2 we have to find and M2 is given 2 into V2. See M1 U1 U1 0 U2 0. So both this term will get 0 plus 0 0. Okay. Now let's try to solve this. So therefore we are remain with here uh, 2 by 10 or I can easily write as 1 by 5 into this is 15 so 5 3 za plus 2 v2 is equals to 0 therefore if I take 3 on the other side then it becomes minus 3 therefore v2 is equals to minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1.5 meter per second c means the gun will move in the opposite direction here minus sign indicates the direction because velocity is a vector quantity so minus sign indicates that the gun will move in the backward direction so with the velocity minus 1.5 meter per second let me give you another question it's a random question okay so try to solve it and give answer in the comment section suppose you have a bullet of mass let us say m1 is equals to 50 gram and the mass of the rifle is let us say 5 kg then the bullet is fired initially both are at the rest now the bullet is fired and it, and it acquired the velocity of V1 is equals to let us say it acquired velocity of 300 meter per second and what is the recoil velocity of the gun. I hope you have understood how to use this. See it is the easiest way right and you just put the data and write the equation of the conservation of momentum, put all the values, make subject V2, you will get your final answer. Have a nice day.